Welcome back, and this is Hoverlet32 again. Um, and the last episode saw so us conquering quite a few bosses. Two out, if I remember rightly, to get to this point now. We've got a third boss. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so... So far the bosses have been pretty straightforward. They're only mini-bosses, so they're not the... Oh, this one's number three. Yeah, it's another one of these amoebas. Got to remember that I am a high level with high level spells. Which I'm wasting because I'm not in range. for a door to the switch room, which must be either on here, here it is, okay, so, it's pretty safe again, all the way to the top, yeah, there's a little bit of jumping involved, but we get there in the end. opened up the other stairway. So we'll go back through here. Now there was one more room from here I believe. Oh, there's something down the bottom as well. Let's go get it. It's only a consciousness shard. Okay, let's warp. Notice that um, my man is quite low, and the reason for that is unfortunately, right at the beginning of the game, the character that I was left, not the one of the better characters out of the list I had to choose from, um, one of their um, weaknesses was low mana, so I ended up being plumped for this guy. And so far. He's not died, so... <laughs> we I've been stuck with him. He's not a bad little lad. He's doing alright so far. Right, okay. Again. Got no bosses that way. Go through just in case. No, we'll continue on far from where the lieutenant's hiding. There we are. So that purple room at the very top is where our evil lieutenant's hiding. So we're well on our way, we're nearly there now. In fact, 
we are two rooms away. Check these out. So that takes us to that room. That to that room, so that's the one we need to go to. Okay, so we've got a door. Ha! Huh. And that's the door that we need to go through to get to our friend. Here we go. So, max health. So the first thing we do is enter. It's the evil lieutenant, Amuni the Warlock. No, we can't see him, so over there somewhere. But you see he's got 280,000 hit points, which is quite a lot. Okay, so, let's go. Also, what happens with these bosses is that these particular ones are certainly, they're obviously stronger. But they're, um, whoa. Randomised attributes as well. God. Already. Oh no. It's tough. Very tough. Safe, we're not anymore. Go down. No way. Go for never scratching the guy. These things don't help the situation. See, this, these guys look pretty tough. There's yellow. That's a good attack. Okay. No, I've still got a hell of a lot of points on you. Right. Ropes. Yes. <sighs> Fantastic. Thirty one, a massive experience towards thirty two. And the beauty of that is when we do meet the overlord, 
the lieutenants won't come to help out because what happens if you don't get all the lieutenants you end up with the overlord at the end and um, all the lieutenants in the area example that one come to help out I'm not sure how many lieutenants there can be but you can imagine a battle with an overlord who's, who's more powerful than that and lieutenants as well pretty insane okay cool right, I think what we'll do now is get out of here I certainly don't want to die anyway. We need to do that and make our way back. Bit of a pity that there's nothing, um, nothing fantastic apart from XP and lots and lots of consciousness shards after they're killing a boss, but it's a good feeling. Okay, so let's warp to here. Didn't do too badly, we've got plenty of things left. Just a matter of keeping them. Jumping them down. <laughs> right, back to the region map. And let's go. So what should have happened as well, we've unlocked more areas of our map. Now level 30... what were we? 31. In a little grave still there where the Overlord used to live. It says the um, outpost has fallen into disuse. Good stuff. I haven't actually found the Overlord. Found a lieutenant. Sorry, that was a lieutenant. I haven't found the Overlord yet. Let's go and see what our guys think about that. But we should find their morale. Should have increased. Yep, there we go. I beat the Dread Darmipi. Was the first one I beat. I've just beaten the Dread Amuni. So everybody's morale's on maximum. So they're all really happy. Or happier than they were. And also feel a bit safer. And the object of this game of ultimately is to take out all the overlords in all. So the overlords in this particular area. And then move on and um, take out any more that we come across. Right, good stuff. So now we've leveled up. We need to start, so look, where are we? Level 31, not far off level 32. Crafting tier 4. Got two spells of crafting tier 4. Got plenty of health potions and magic potions. So yeah, we need to start going out there and um, leveling up again. Heading towards um, level 40. Which is a real achievement. So, let's go see what's up on the belt side. Let's go south. We could take out one of these, um, oops, pylons as well, actually. Level 40, that's a bit too high. If you notice, we can't actually walk into a pylon zone. So we can't get anywhere beyond here until those pylons are um, destroyed. Vortex is destroyed, sorry. Same with over here. So we're a little bit stuck now, actually. Certainly in that direction. What we do have over here... Ooh, this here is... Uh, it's guarded by monsters, and it's a red node. And what that does, if we link it to our settlement, it allows us to gain red consciousness shards every turn. The big problem with that, if we do it, is we will ultimately get attacked because everybody gets wise to this. I've never actually seen a settlement where it's raining on the um, tile map. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, the deep. An evil and warped time shard from the medieval age of the first century. Presumably once a pleasant place, the land and even the sky here, have been dizzyingly twisted by the influence of fallen Lari, who have taken up residence. Mm -hmm. That's brand new, and I've come across that level 38 as well. A bit, bit high for me now, but I shall be exploring there later. I believe there's some backstory to the um, deep, which we find out about at some point. 
of our next big aims. Oh, and there we go, the time is off again. Is to um, find out where the rest of the lieutenants are. And once we've done that, find out where the overlord is. Okay, well that's fantastic. So we've taken out our second lieutenant uh, back at base. So we're ready to continue levelling up and moving forward. Not sure what level our lieutenant or overlords are going to be. So again, we need to be aware of that. Until we find them, we don't know what level we need to be. But that particular one was pretty straightforward. I think it was level 28. Yeah, and we were level 31. So it was pretty straightforward. Okay, well thank you very much again for watching and listening. Um, I hope to get another part done, probably not today, but um, certainly upload in the next few days. Um, and again, thank you, and good night.